Hello folks, now quick fly shop here. Today we're going to tie what's called a cloud or minnow. This is a very sparse fly. I'm going to tie it really, really sparsely. I'm using the Snowbee Walder and Vice. I'm going to lock my hook in. That's going nowhere. And if you noticed, the hook's quite short. I'm using the Maruto 8500, size 2. I really like that hook. I'm using Semperfy's Nano Silk. And we'll start by just building. We don't need to build a base on the hook itself. We just want to build a location where we can situate our dumbbell eye. And I'm using a 4 millimeter dumbbell eye. This is one of those flies where you don't need to coat the shank of the hook. But you have to leave room, to make this a clouser, you have to leave room in the front. So I will lock in, I will lock in my dumbbell eye. And there we are, that's not bad. And I like this hook for a lot of reasons. It does not bend, <laughs> which is key when you're catching 20-25 pound fish. It's got a wide gap and it really, really holds well. I'm going to use a bit of super glue here. I'm using the Gulf super glue, which I like. It's brushable. A little bit. There. Don't need much. Okay. Now, polar bear. We're going to use polar bear today. <clears throat> Here on the west coast of Canada, and in Canada in general, we can tie with polar bear. We can buy polar bear, although it is very difficult to get nowadays. Polar bear has an awful lot of under fur, so you're going to have to pull that off. There's a lot of it. You have to get rid of it, or else your fly is way too bulky. And again, the key for this fly is sparse. So I pulled off more than 50% of the fibers, but they're short. And I want the longer fibers. So I'm going to lay this in. And you're going to notice that when I lock this material in, I'm going to wrap it in there, just behind the dumbbell eyes. And then I'm going to palmer back my thread. Oh, maybe a quarter of an inch, a little more. Not a lot. Sometimes if that material walks out on you, you can twist it with your hand and lock it in more. There you go. Nice. Now bring my thread back over the dumbbell eyes, over the polar bear fronts, lock it in, and now I'll have enough room for the clouser style fly. And I'll cut the excess off right there and continue wrapping. Next, I'm going to use green polar bear, chartreuse green, one of my very favorite colors for chasing coho, pink salmon, and chinook salmon off the beaches. Again, polar bear, and we're going to really get rid of that fluff. See how much fluff we have? It's a crazy amount of fluff. Now if you're a, a frugal fly tire, you will take that fluff and make it into dubbing. There, as you can see, I've taken off more than half my material. I'm going to split it, place it on, extend it as long as I can, and lock it in. Bring it back, lock it in, and go over the dumbbell eye, both sides. Both sides, once behind, back to the front, cut the excess, make sure you don't jam the eye. You can always take a lighter later, clean it up. So there is, so far, so far there is everything except for the copper flash. And I'm using copper crystal flash. Don't need a lot. Copper and chartreuse seems to be one of the colors here on the West Coast that we really like in our clousers. Bring that around. Bring it around. 
down, I like to bring my thread in behind the eye once or twice to the front. And ladies and gentlemen, there you go. You have a very, very, very fishy clouser minnow for coho, chinook, pink salmon, chum, steelhead, big trout, Atlantic salmon. Although Atlantic salmon you can't in North America use a way to fly, but you certainly can in other places in the world. And there you go. Super glued. And you can if you want. I don't like my flash being longer than my material, so I'll just cut a couple pieces. There we go. Perfect. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. A really well tied, very fishy clouser minnow.